A couple of weeks ago, Sarah Vine, one of Britain's top journalists, wrote in the Daily Mail that Meghan Markle used a moon bump, commonly known as a fake pregnancy bump prosthetic. The hashtag that people are using to discuss Meghan's supposed fake pregnancy is hashtag moon bump, often accompanied by hashtag Megxit, which is a play on the word Brexit. The hashtag moon bump refers to the alleged prosthetic bump or pillow that Meghan wears under her clothes to fake a pregnant belly. People have really gone all in with their opinions on Markle's every single move, what she's wearing, her physical movements, and a baby bump. Meghan became bloated after Daily Mail comments where people wrote that she was suspiciously thin on her face and body to be pregnant. And a few days later, she puffed up in the face when she attended a royal event. Meghan Markle is trying to convince the world that she's the natural birth mother of both Archie and Lilibet in the Netflix series. But royal fans aren't fools. Jenny.au on Cora commented, In the Netflix docuseries, it's obvious that Meghan tried hard to convince the world that she's the natural birth mother of both Archie and Lilibet. But the footage was obviously poorly presented and unconvincing, with the names and dates of the ultrasound cropped out, which is enough to raise one's suspicions. While any pregnant woman could have been lying on that bench. The picture of her looking out of the window is hilarious, with the baby bump jutting out as though it has a life of its own not referring to the baby's life with no signs of any gravitational pull, and has she no ribcage since Bubby occupies the diaphragm as well as abdomeno-pelvic cavity? Not even quintuplet pregnancy is this freakish. I realise Megan's face appeared puffy after having a baby, whereas most new mother's faces look drawn, unless there's a kidney issue. I thought she was wearing cheek inserts which would not interfere with the speech. Pity. Megan goes to a lot of trouble to fool the public, but always winds up looking the fool. Agreeing with the netizens' post, one said she was never pregnant, or did she have a miscarriage? She's a pathological liar. Thomas Markle knows for a fact that she had her embryos frozen when she was on suits, which actually was quite sensible at the time, given the fact that she was 35 years old and pursuing a career. Meghan Markle never wanted to have children with Trevor Engelson, who she was together with for 10 years before they married. This was a signed agreement. Another added, so a baby is sitting not in the uterus but the stomach. The anatomy of a pregnant woman does not allow for a fetus that size to sit in the epigastric region. This pick is the single greatest evidence of moon bump. I've worked in obstetrics for over 30 years. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry leave their kids out of the 2022 Christmas card. Instead of featuring their two kids, Arch and Lilibet, on the memo, the pair just featured a black and white photo of themselves, which was taken at the Ripple of Hope Award Gala earlier this month in New York City. A year ago, the Harkles showed off their little girl to the world. Happy holidays. This year, 2021, we welcomed our daughter Lilibet to the world. Archie made us a mama and papa, and Lily made us a family, the message read. As we look forward to 2022, we've made donations on your behalf to several organisations that honour and protect families, from those being relocated from Afghanistan to American families in need of paid parental leave.